What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, before I get started with today's video, you need to know that I am not a doctor. I am not your doctor. Do not take any medical advice from the internet. Please speak to your own addiction doctor about your issues, guys. All right? So today's video, I wanted to talk about... Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. P.S. This is my second video for the night, so if I'm and it's late at night, so if I'm kind of all over the place, then forgive me. <laughs> and sorry about the darkness. It's like I said, it's late at night. I'm getting ready to go to bed here, so my poor Seahawks just got beat down today. Oh man, Almighty! Oh, it's gonna be a long, rough year. Anyways, so I wanted to talk about tapering Suboxone for all the wrong reasons. So I've over the years of making Suboxone videos, I have seen quite a few people talking about they want to taper Suboxone so that they can basically, so they can get high off of it, like on the weekends type of thing, right guys? And I'm sure there's plenty of us that can relate to wanting to feel better once we take our Suboxone, like feeling, feeling better than normal, than just normal, right? So, <laughs> Um, but I have seen quite a few people talk about this and ask me, you know, like, hey, I really want to do this. What do you think about this? Um, it's really a weird thing to think about if you think about it, guys. Like, that's interesting that people would want to do that. <laughs> um, Suboxone, like, is what's supposed to help you rebuild your life, right? And it's supposed to buy you that time to get rid of the negative people in your life and block your drug dealer or move out of the city that you're in or whatever you need to do, like get your life back on track basically is what Suboxone does and buys you time to do, right? <laughs> so if you're, if you're on Suboxone, then I would think that you want to be working towards sobriety, but I could, I obviously not everybody is, is ready for sobriety, I guess you could say. So, I mean, ugh, what do you say about that, right, guys? It's weird. It's just weird to, like, I want to taper so I can get high. <laughs> like, it's just, like, it's kind of, like, contradicting the whole reason to even be on Suboxone. That being said, if you have to look at the alternative, what's the alternative? They're going to go get high on heroin or... Roxy's or Oxy's or whatever fake drugs are out there these days and then possibly have an overdose and die, right? So on one hand, I can say it sounds extremely stupid and childish to do that and want to do that and want to use Suboxone to get high. But on the other hand, it's a, what do they, what do they call it? A pain, not pain control, uh, damage control type of situation. I mean, I guess I could see if the alternative is the higher things. Sure, use your Suboxone on the weekends to get yourself a buzz. I mean, <laughs> but it just goes to say, like, if you're doing that, you're probably not taking your recovery too seriously. And you honestly probably have a long way to go before even trying to get off Suboxone. So if that's you and you're wanting to use Suboxone or you're trying to use Suboxone to get high or to get a buzz or whatever, whatever that thing you think it is that you're going to get from it, if that's you and you're chasing something from Suboxone other than just feeling normal, just know that you probably still have some deep inner work that you need to do. You should be seeing a counselor, guys. We should all probably be seeing a counselor, but especially if you're wanting to use Suboxone to get high. I think that's that just says quite a bit about where you're at in your recovery. You're not ready to be off Suboxone, so please don't try getting off Suboxone because you're still seeking some kind of high and some kind of energy boost or whatever it is, like I said, guys. So... Yeah, I just I just wanted to kind of clear the air on that. I don't think it's the best idea, but I don't think it's the worst idea if the alternative is you're going to go get heroin or fake heroin or whatever the crap is going around in your town. So it may, I could see why some people could do it, but just know, like I said, guys, that I'm kind of rambling and repeating myself now. So just know that you're, you still have some inner demons that you likely need to slay. You should want Suboxone to make you feel normal, guys. 
okay? And a lot of people don't just feel normal. They feel the ups and the downs during the day. Um, and that's where supplicate can come in. If you, if you guys are serious about your recovery and you're sick of the ups and downs of Suboxone and you've, you've been clean off of your higher drugs, stronger drugs for some good amount of time, and you're ready to give up the ups and downs with Suboxone all day, then possibly consider looking into Sublocade because you do. You feel normal all day, all night. You don't wake up feeling groggy and and like you're going into withdrawal. You just feel normal all day and all night, guys. So not the best idea, guys, but better than going out and relapsing on heroin. So um, I just think there could be better ways to go about living your life. <laughs> So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, things are going pretty good for me. Uh, I just wanted to hit on that really quick. That's pretty much all I had to say, guys. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Have a good night. Bye, guys.